So one interesting aspect of the emergence of Nitish Kumar and his 2024 challenge is that so far, Mamta Banerjee and Arvind Kejriwal haven't congratulated him yet, though Sharad Pawar and M.K. Stalin have. So let's see how that plays out politically. But also, importantly, there's now the situation of the five Rajya Sabha MPs of the Janata Dal United, which Nitish Kumar loses. And Akhilesh has more on that breakup, also because Harivansh, who's of course the Rajya Sabha chair, is also from the JDU, That's who right. was uh, sent by uh, Nitish Kumar. It was an agreement we saw there with when he was brought in with the Prime Minister and Nitish Kumar. So what happens now in the Rajya Sabha, Akhilesh? That's a very crucial question about Haribans, whether he would continue in that position or not. He's a deputy chairperson of Rajya Sabha. We have seen that uh, when during UPA1, the left front withdrew support. Somna Chatterjee refused to resign from the Lok Sabha speaker post. So Haribans can cite the same example of Somna Chatterjee and can refuse to resign. But we have been trying to contact him. He did not uh, come on phone line or say anything about this. But of course, JDU leaders will confirm whether he would continue on that position or not. On the other hand, uh, with, with the exit of JDU from NDA, uh, the BJP faces tough challenge in Rajya Sabha, which already the BJP NDA never had any majority in the past uh, eight years or so. The BJP uh, has, uh, with allies, around 114 MPs in Rajya Sabha, and the half a mark is 119. So BJP was, of course, short of that majority mark. And now with the exit of 105 uh, MPs of JDU, now the BJP ND has come down to 109. So that will be, you know, problem, problematic for the BJP to get the crucial legislation passed uh, in the upper house. Of course, the BJP always relies upon uh, some parties like BJD and the Vaisal Congress, which have nine MPs each. Uh, they extend issue-based support uh, to the NDA from time to time. So the, now the BJP will be relying upon these two parties. But interestingly, I mean, Amit Shah was there in Bhuneshwar last week and he had a function there. He announced that the BJP wants to come to uh, power in the state and wants to come on its own. So that's why now BJT will be facing direct fight with the BJP in Odisha. So whether the BJT will be exchanging support or not. Now, interestingly, Sonia, uh, Mr. Sunil Bansal, who was the General Secretary of Organization in Uttar Pradesh, who was uh, credited with the past three victories in Uttar Pradesh. Now he has been promoted. He's a close confidant of Amit Shah and he has been promoted as the National General Secretary and has been given charge of Telangana and the West Bengal and also Odisha. So now, of course, it shows that how Amit Shah is taking the fight in Odisha very seriously. Right, uh, Akhilesh. So absolutely so interesting uh, times ahead, political times. I think in India, there are always interesting political times ahead.